Ask Jackets this week is with Director of Athletics, Mike Bobinski. We've got your questions. We've received a lot of them. We've narrowed it down to eight here, and we'll start, well, a lot of folks wrote in asking about, is there any plans to add an additional sport? Question I get all the time, Brandon. Uh, at this point in time, there are no plans to add anything additional. As the world sort of swirls around us in intercollegiate athletics, and we don't really know where it's going to land here in these next couple of years, probably not the time to be looking to expand programs as additional costs and expenses come our way. Uh, it's, it's really not in the cards for us right now, and, and not that there were any plans on the table at this point. All righty, football off to a 3-0 and start. Your general thoughts so far on the season? Well, when you play three, the best you can do is win three, and that's where we are. So I, I like where, where things are right now. I think everybody would tell you that uh, one of the interesting things so far, we've played a a second half, a second half, and a first half. And uh, what we need to do as we move forward is look to combine those two and play a play a full game. I think when we do that, we've got a chance to be a, a very, very good football team. And hopefully we'll continue to make progress as we head up to Virginia Tech here this week. Yeah, I'm sure most of you know noon ESPN on Saturday at Virginia Tech first ACC game. Uh, we had most of our questions on Twitter. This one coming in on Facebook from Hunter Jones. Any plans for a new football stadium or upgrades to the current football stadium? Well, if I was the guy that took down uh, Grant Field and Bobby Dodd Stadium, I think I'd be the be out of town in a hurry here. So I'm not, there are no plans for for a new stadium. I, and I would tell you this: I, I love our stadium. I think it's it's got a lot of quirks, a lot of unique Georgia Tech things that that are part of it. Uh, and, and I don't, there are no plans whatsoever to build a new stadium. Now, that being said, do we want to keep our stadium current and upgraded, upgraded and updated? Absolutely. And we're always looking for ways to do so. Uh, just this offseason, we had a significant investment made by AT&T in our infrastructure uh, from, a, from an Internet and wireless capacity uh, standpoint. We've, we've done some other things along those lines this year, and we'll continue to look for those opportunities as we move down the road. Going back to Twitter now, this question from Kyle Kenny asking about, you know, in, in the current climate of college athletics and what you wear, your, your brand, so to speak, Nike, Russell, Under Armour, always important. What are your thoughts on where we currently stand there? Well, we've had a long time relationship with Russell Athletics as our, as our equipment provider, and it's been honestly very beneficial in a lot of ways. They provide a lot of gear and, and some financial benefits to us. That being said, you know, we, we understand the environment. We understand how important it is to align yourself with an equipment manufacturer and a brand that advances your cause and your image. Uh, you know, we have several years left to run on our, on our agreement with Russell. Uh, and again, we look forward to making the very most of that as we, as we move forward. All right, moving on. Patrick Dron, he's asked this question every week. He wants to know what's on your iPad, iPod. Now, he did write dot, 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 if you have one. I don't know if you want to take offense to that. Well, I would say this, an iPod is kind of old technology. I've moved, <laughs> I've moved ways past the iPod at this point in time. But, uh, but I, I, I mean, from a music perspective, I'm what you would call eclectic. I... Uh, I grew up in the Northeast. I've got a little bit of Springsteen and all that going on. I've got some alternative. There's actually some 50s on there. I'm, I'm all over the place. You, you could not typecast me by looking at my music. It's, it is literally all over the map. All right. Well, Patrick Dron, keep, keep getting that question in every week. A couple more here from Twitter. This one from Sean Hairston at Jet Jacket. Would it violate NCAA rules to put advertising on football and men's basketball practice jerseys since revenue is so paramount? Well, I, you know, I don't know the answer to that question, and I would tell you that I've never really considered that as an option, primarily because practice is a pretty much closed affair, and there, there really isn't any you know, as you know, and we are looking for revenue, and, he, and the point is well taken that revenue is, is important these days. I don't see the practice arena as one where you could do much in, in terms of generating anything significant, so we've never gone down that road, nor do I expect that we will in the future. All right, two more. This one from at Connell 62. Many consider the ACC to be the best basketball conference in the country. What are your expectations for the program this season? Well, to the first point, without a doubt, I think the ACC is shaping up to be a tremendously powerful basketball conference this year. You know, you trade out a, a pretty good Maryland program in, in recent years for a really good Louisville program. So things didn't get any, certainly didn't get any easier as you bring in another Hall of Fame coach in a, in a recent national championship level program. Uh, from my perspective, what I want to see out of our program is, is just continued progress. I want us to see to, con to continue to build who we are and what we want our program to look like. I see that happening with Coach Gregory and his staff. You know, it's, it's important to come together and win as a group, as a team, as opposed to individuals thinking they're going to do it themselves. And I, and I like the fact that we've really focused heavily on that during the offseason and we'll continue that during the preseason. All right, and our last question this week on the Ask Jacket segment from Justin Smith via Twitter. Can you elaborate on the duties of new Deputy Athletic Director Brett Daniels? Yeah, Brett actually uh, is, is arrived, arrived in town here this week and uh, excited 
excited to get him here. I think uh, first and foremost, we're going to ask him to bring his own perspectives and thoughts and, and really help us from an external perspective, uh, sort of bringing together everything we do externally. Uh, but, but beyond that, I've also I will ask him to sort of cut across our entire organization and give us the benefit of his perspective, his his management experience, and and, and add some depth, uh, sort of some bench strength to our to our leadership team. All right. Thanks for all the questions, guys. And Mike, thanks for your time. Glad to do it, Brandon.